This next bloke is, uh, is real musical royalty. They call him the King of Cool. And 22 years ago, the King graced this very studio where we're sitting now as a young bloke from the south side of Chicago. <clears throat> Stormy Monday, <clears throat> excuse me, the smash hit that took him to the top. Well today, minus the bandstand beauties and uh, in a different scene here, would you please welcome the smoothest silk sounds of Lou Rawls as he sings his sensational hit, Lady Love. <laughs> Trips? This is about our fifth trip now. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the latest. Lou rolls at last. Lou rolls mm -hmm. at last is the is the latest album. It's at least sixty. Do you have any idea how many albums you've done? Yeah, I'm working on my sixty-fifth album now, actually. Oh. Sixty-five. Oh. And, and you're only twenty-five too. You know what you? I mean? You start out as a child, you know, as a kid. <laughs> that's, that's, yes. It's, it's a lot good. of songs. How, how do you choose songs? Do you go for lyrics or do you go for music? No lyric. Actually, I go for lyric first. And then, you know, the music, uh, I guess the music has a great part to do, but I think the story has more to it, you know? Uh, like Lady Love, that, mm. you know, that's, that's a nice melody, and it's, uh, you know, it, it, it has more meaning. People, it's something people can hum, they can walk around, you know, just hum it to themselves. 
as opposed to the stuff, you know, of today, it's, which I'm not putting it down, but you know. Not so many stories, huh? Oh, uh, yes. The story I remember, Street Come a Hustler's Blues. Yeah. There's a song you sang in the first album that went, went a million mm -hmm. for you. Yes. About a, this is wonderful talking about stories. About a two time and South Side dandy mm -hmm. confronted by his knife wielding wife right. as he waits for his mistress on the street. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which still goes on quite a bit. That's a good song, isn't it? <laughs> right, yes, it worked out really good. What do you, what do you call yourself then? I mean, again, I, I read a, mm. one of the quotes about uh, the New York Times when you first, way back when you started. Mm. He strays into the pop ballad field on occasion, yeah. but blues are his baby mm. and Solon is his bag. Well, you know, I've been, uh, they've tried to put me in all sorts of categories, so I'd said that I'm just a man for all seasons and reasons, whatever it calls for. Musically, I try to perform that. Yeah, well, you certainly you know. Have you ever done country? Yes. Matter of fact, you know what, I was just in Nashville about a month ago. With the Na you ready for this? A blues singer in Nashville, Tennessee with a symphony orchestra. Right, home of country and western. But I've done that, yes. I've, I've performed at the Grand Ole Opry there in Nashville. I've, a few times I've sang country and western. I thought I might get lucky like Ray Charles, you know. Could get lucky. <laughs> and, and now you're in Australia with uh, Nancy Wilson. Yes, yes. yes. If you had to pick uh, top ten ladies, you couldn't go past that lady. Hey, picture. listen, she is the epitome. As far as I'm concerned, she is the best. We've been, matter of fact, we both started out recording about the same time back in the 60s at Capitol Record Company. Together, then, would have to be 120, 130 albums, I suppose, between the two of you. I would imagine so. Somewhere there. I would imagine so. She is so good. What, and we've got her on Wednesday. She's singing on the show on yeah. Wednesday again, which is oh. a treat for us. But do, do you sing together in this, uh, in this tour? Yes, yes, we will. Yes, we will. And a range of, uh, of what? A range of everything I guess you've talked about. Well, yeah, we'll probably try and, uh, you know, span the gamut because, you know, she has so many great songs. So we're just going to try to find the two, about three or four that we can do together, you know. Who were your idols? I mean, who were, the, who were your role models? Billy Eckstein, mm. Joe Williams, Al Hibbler, uh, Nat King Cole, of course. Is it true, I read that story, that, that one stage was the Capitol Records who actually initially signed you up to be the possible successor for that? Yes, Cole? yes it was, yes it was. Which, actually what happened, they signed me more or less not to replace him, but to kind of step into that position because uh, they didn't have any other, any male artists on the label yes. and so they put me in but then I was coming in singing more bluesy kind of things so it kind of uh, got off the track as far as being the pop singer but I was also singing ballads and things but Duke Ellington said don't ever limit yourself to one particular bag of music because you lose a lot of people when you do that because there's a lot of different kinds of music lovers out there so you try to appeal to them all well, you've done that you've appealed to all of them the latest album as they say is uh, the rules at last and did we have some dates here well, um, well, in fact, you're coming back to sing another song for us. Yes, we'll give the concert yes. dates for the tour then. All right. Thank you so much. Good. Thank Would you. you please take us to Lou Rock? <laughs> Welcome back. Here I am. Let's have, <laughs> let's have another song now from our very special musical guest today, Mr. Lou Rawls. I don't come any better. First, let me give you some dates where you can catch Lou and Nancy Wilson together in concert. June the 9th to the 13th at the Sydney Hilton, June 16, 19, in Brisbane at the Hilton, June 24 to 27 in Melbourne, again, at the Hilton on the Park. But right now, as always, when he comes to town, you can catch him on midday. Would you please welcome Mr. Lou Rawls as he sings Fine Brown Frame. <laughs>
Be class with the elite, you may not be hip to the jive. They talk out in 